Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie! So we are exactly in the room we left off in, and actually this is a separate day guys, but I did find that the game does save everything that we have already done. So all the mumbo tokens we found, the gingers we found, the notes and everything, so I, I'm pretty happy about that, so let's get going. Before starting this recording though, I did take a couple of minutes to kind of familiarize myself with the swimming controls a little bit, so hopefully it's a little bit less painful than it was last night. Or, not last night, yesterday. I think it will be, I'm kind of getting used to things here. And that takes me back outside, it's not quite what I want, so let's go back in there. And, I just wanted to grab those notes, now let's go back into the central room, because there's another direction for us to go in here. If we go over this way. I think that's all there is in this central area, but we can come back and check if we need to. I'm mostly concerned with these notes here. I think there's some other stuff down here as well. Uh, don't, did not need that health, but oh well. I think right down here should be a Jinjo, so let's go check and see if there is. It's gonna swim straight down. Yep, indeed, we got the, I guess, Magenta Jinjo. There's two more of those to find, and we will be done with that. So I think we will definitely finish off this stage today, guys. And I guess that also takes us out. So, again, I'm not sure if there's anything else to do inside there. I think that's it. I'm actually fairly certain that's it, so let's just move on. And if at the end of the stage we're still missing something, we'll come back and look inside there. But I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go inside his blowhole and see if that takes us to a different area of the interior, I guess. I think that's probably the best thing to do right now. Actually, you know what? Let's go on top of his blowhole first. So we'll get up here, because there's just a couple things. Whoops. That was, that was bad. Get up there quickly. Oop. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to do a talent trial right now. I'm just going to slowly work my way through here. Okay. Oh no, dude! Let me try that again. That was just bad. Now, one thing I want to mention, I think this is accurate, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that in the N64 version, you actually have a bit of a different camera control. You use the C buttons, and when you press the C button, it just alters your camera by a specific amount, where in this game, it's more of an analog thing. Like, you can see I just, you know, use the right analog stick to rotate the camera like this. I don't think it works like that in the N64 version. So for a lot of these precise walking things, it can be better to actually have the camera that acts in a more precise way as well. There is a one-up over there, but I don't think I'm going to go get that. Let me just chill here. Wait for this to go up, and then we'll go inside. There we go. Let's see. Aha, this is indeed a different area. We have the Gruntilda switch here. So we'll hit that, and that'll raise up the eyes back in, in Grunty's lair, so we'll go get that in a little bit. First, let's get through here. If I could not get hit by the blades, that'd be great. Oh, of course I get hit twice. Let's not make it three times. Okay, there's 26 more notes to get. Let's see what jiggy that is. That is number six, so four more of those to get as well. One will be from the Jinjo. Uh, that puts us right back. Aha, this was back in the central area, so I guess that is one way we could have gotten up there was via a uh, jumpy jump here. And I guess we can also go that way, but I think that goes back to where we've been before. So I'm going to go back up here and actually see if there's more to find past the grunty switch in here. Let's just see if I can fly up in there. Looks like you can't actually, so let me meet you guys back in that room. Ooh, one second guys, I just noticed there's a whole bunch of notes. This is back in the main room where Clanker is floating. There's actually a whole bunch of notes down in this pipe here, so let's go grab those. And then I'll meet you guys back inside. But, wow, this is quite a lot. Very good thing I spotted this one. That would have been a disaster if I missed that. Alright, so I'll meet you guys back inside. Alright, so we're back in here. This time I'm going to go this way and see if it takes me anywhere special. And that just drops me back in here as well, giving me some eggs. So there you go, guys. It's, called, it's all kind of interconnected. So I guess let's just go back outside, and I'll meet you guys there. And we're back outside, so let's see where exactly I want to go next. Let's just take a peek around here. There's a whole bunch of little holes in the walls to go through, but I can't remember exactly which ones I've already been through. There's also one jiggy down here, so maybe we'll have to find a way to get inside and get that. Let's see, it looks like it connects over to this side, so maybe I go inside this hole right here. Let's go try it out. So I am kind of, you know looking for where to go a lot of the times and kind of getting lost a little bit, but I think that's okay. Part of this game is about, actually a huge part of this game is about exploration, and I asked for your guys' feedback a while ago telling me if you prefer this more natural approach where I just kind of go in, go off my memory and try to figure out what to do, or if you guys wanted me to really figure things out and practice beforehand, and pretty much like 99% of people said they prefer the more natural approach, so I think I'm just going to do this. You know, I'm just going off my memory, uh, my memory from when I played as a kid. And a little bit I've seen just watching other people play the game, so... Of course I don't know everything, but I think I know enough that it's not going to be too painful to watch. So, if that's what you guys want, let's do it! 
I think that's how I'm going to handle a lot of playthroughs in the future is I'll probably play through the game once beforehand and then do a let's play. But I won't necessarily like write down every little turn I'm going to take and you know I don't want to be like a a, a walkthrough. A walkthrough format is just something I don't think that would work for me. It works great for some people. Like I absolutely love watching you know Chugga Conroy and HC Bailey do the walkthrough style but I think for me more of just playing through once and then doing a let's play I think that's the best way to go about it. Let's go check out inside here. Aha! The blue Jinjo! So we just need one more, the orange one, and I'm sure we'll find that pretty soon. Is that all that's in here? Yep, it looks like it. So we gotta find the next main area we want to get to. It might be through one of these main holes. The only problem is I'm not sure if this one leads back to the entrance or if this is the way we're... if this is the way I want to be going. So let's just go through here and find out. If this goes back to the entrance, I'll just turn around and try the other side. And... Yep, that is back at the entrance, so let's try the other side. Wait a second, guys, I might have spotted something. I think there is a hole right here I can swim up, and I don't know if it has anything worthwhile, but I saw something kind of shiny. Uh, can I get up in there? Game? Aha! Oh, there's one of the honeycomb pieces, alright! I am very glad I saw that one, dude. I just saw, like, a little glitter of gold, and bam, there you go. So I think the hole I want to go inside is actually this one over here. We still need one more honeycomb piece. I think three Jiggies, which includes one Jinjo, and just a handful of notes. So we're almost done, but still a bit left to do, so let's go inside here and see if this is where we gotta go. It's glowing green, so it might be radioactive or something, I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen this part of the game. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, I'm seeing a whole bunch of notes. Oh, crud! We got Snippet Mutants! Ah! So I have to fight all of them, and they're probably gonna give me a Jiggy, is what it sounds like. How do I... Fight them without getting wrecked, though. Ow! There we go. Okay. At least they dropped plenty of health for me. Let me go ahead and get all these little things. And... Okay, there's one more, it looks like. Oh, two more. Crud. Come here, buddies. And there we go. Where's the Jiggy? You promised me a Jiggy. Alright, so here we get the prize. So we need one more Jinjo and then one more other Jiggy. And I'm not sure exactly where to look at this point. I kind of thought it was inside Clanker still, but I couldn't really find anything while I was looking in there, so... I'll probably just edit ahead until I find it, which I might have to end up doing for a couple of these stages, but... At least we got almost all of it figured out on our first go-through, so... Let's just, uh, get out of here, I guess. And let's go look for where to go next, guys. I was checking out all the holes in the wall, and... This one right here seems a little bit different than the others, so I'm gonna check out this one and see if there is anything in here. It didn't really seem to match up to anything. Oh, okay, there's just a Mumbo token. So we're up to 16 of those, not bad. Now, I did notice there was also a second golden tooth on, on this side, and I'm wondering if that is actually something different, or if it just leads into the same mouth. So let's find out. I'm guessing it's just going to take us to the same place here. Oh, that is how you were intended to get the Mumbo token last time. Aha, I think I might see somewhere else we can go inside of Clanker here. So I think if I fly on this side, and then fly all the way over to the other side, you see there's a little hole right there. So maybe that's what I have to do next. You can see there's a golden feather there, which means I haven't actually gone inside yet. So I, I knew there was something more inside here, dude. I just, I knew it, man. So let's grab that feather and go inside. And yes, this is what I was thinking about. Hey, bottles. I'm pretty sure we get a new ability here, too, actually. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Yes, so basically this is going to be us using the... Uh... Okay, saying press the right trigger, then press the right stick right. Anyways, that's going to use the gold feathers, and it will make us invincible, so we finally get to put those to use. And you can only hold 10 at once, so you can't go invincible for too long, it seems. Alright. Here we go! I think you can actually get through here without the golden feather, if, but it's very, very precise. So there we go. We'll grab this. We have just five more notes and one Jinjo to find, so we are almost done with this place. And I guess I'm just going to go back out, and let's go look for that Jinjo. Aha, up here I got a really good vantage point, and you guys can see there's actually some notes on the side there. And I'm thinking the Jinjo might be there as well, so I think we're just about to finish the stage, guys. I think I gotta go back up here, though. Unless there's... there is a jump pad over there, so I might try that out if this doesn't work. But first, let's make our way back up here. Now, this doesn't really lead anywhere, does it? I mean, I can get over here, but... Then what? Oh, can I make that jump? Oh, maybe you have to jump off the tail when it goes to the side like that. Okay, let me try that out. So we'll get on here. And then when the tail swoops to that side... 
That is not going to reach at all. Holy crud, that's a long jump. Okay, let me go try the jump pad. That might be the answer. All right, the jump pad is indeed the answer. We just have to jump, and there's actually a little thing we can grab onto right here. So now we can climb to the top. I was way overthinking things trying to use that tail to jump up here. And let's grab these five notes. I'm going to go in here just in case, or in Talon Trot, just in case the, steep is, or the slope is too steep. But I heard that Jinjo. I think he might be inside this. What if I break this here? Come on. And... No, that was the honeycomb piece. So the Jinjo is probably up there as well, guys. So if we get this Jinjo, if he's actually up here, that is everything for this stage. I don't know, man. This, went, this part went by a little bit quickly. Maybe I should not have split this into two parts. I guess it's pretty close to a full video, though. And it's not like I have to end it immediately after beating the stage. We can still do some stuff inside Gruntilda's lair so we can get prepped and ready for the next stage immediately after. Let's grab this. Fifth Jinjo, give us that Jiggy! And of course, the orange Jinjo, the best one. So there we go, guys. That is ten Jiggies. Let's go take a peek at our totals here. That leads us to 100 notes, ten Jiggies, and two pieces. It took me 31 minutes. Treasure Trove took me 27. Mumbles Mountain took me 14. So you can see the stage is getting a little bit longer each time. But anyways, that is done, so I guess I will meet you guys back at the entrance, and we'll go back to Grunty's Lair here. And here we are, back at the entrance, so let's go back to Grunty's Lair. So, I don't know, this episode had a bit more editing around than I would have liked, but... I think that a lot of the stages might end up having that near the end, kind of at that wrap-up phase where we just have a few lingering pieces. And I don't think it's that big of a deal, I don't think it was too annoying to watch, so I think we're just gonna rock it. And actually we have to go back here for a second, because there's something else to find. Of uh, that, those Grunty's eyes that we popped out. Remember when we hit that Grunty switch? I think that is back in the, uh, gosh, what room was that in? Oops, did not mean to do that. I think that was in the room back here, actually. So let's go take a look. Because I remember it being in the room where we actu actually activated the pictures. Yeah, it's right down here. Okay. So let's go hit those eyes. I think we just have to ground pound them in. Or beak breaker, whatever it's called. Come on. And boom! That'll just give us yet another Jiggy. Also, someone left a comment and gave me a tip. They said you can actually get three clues from each of these Brentildas, not just one. So let's go actually talk to this one. Hello! Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug-flavored toothpaste. Right, we've already seen that. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck! And finally, and she gets her clothes from the trash can. Alright, so that's three tips here. We've already seen the salted slug flavored toothpaste one before, but those other two were definitely new, I th think? Maybe not definitely, I, I, don't, I don't know. But let's go back inside here because there is one area that we haven't really checked out that we've been needing to, which is once we go up inside this area, there's a little section off to the side that we never really progressed to. I kind of teased you guys a while ago, but it's finally time to go swim through here and see what we have to find. Hopefully I will not drown. I love the underwater music. I think it's just the same music as before, but they kind of give it an underwater feel to it. I like that. I think they carry that over to the future games as well. And right up here, I didn't get a really good look at that. I don't know what it was. Is it a cauldron? Oh, it's to... Okay, it's to activate another stage. So this is going to be Bubble Gloop Swamp. I don't know if that's the next stage we'll actually play, but we might as well open it while we're here. So we'll just hit that button. Game. There we go. And that'll be a stage we play eventually. Probably not next time, but maybe. I don't know what stage comes next. Maybe we'll go do Bubble Gloop Swamp next. I don't know. Anyways, enough rambling. I think I am going to end things here, guys. Next time we'll come back, find out which stage we're actually going into, and start that. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.